Aki, got it? All right. So in this last example, ladies and gentlemen, again, what we basically want to do, um, Jacob, is apply the inverse operations. Now, I don't need to do factoring <laughs> for this one. This one's kind of like the last one. However, instead of my solutions being uh, constrained between 0 and 2 pi, I'm going to find all real solutions. And I'll explain that once we get to it. However, first thing we want to do is let's just solve for, sorry, x, right? So I'll add 1 to both sides. Divide by 2. Oh, okay, yeah. Gotcha. Are we good? Take the square root. Now remember, when you're taking the square root, you have to include plus or minus, correct? Plus or minus. And then this is going to be 1 over the square root of 2. Rationalize the denominator, you get square root of 2 over 2. Does everybody see how I get my answer square root of 2 over 2? Mm -hmm. Now, the answers, when you, when you take the square root, are plus or minus, correct? Plus or minus. Does everybody see that? That's huge plus or minus. Because if I was going to look at my unit circle, which I'll do over here, we know that pi over 4 is pretty easy. Because it's the only one that is square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. Right? However, is that the only time where we're going to have square root of 2 over 2? No, we basically have the angle over here. I'm going to erase this. You have this angle, and you have that angle. Do you guys agree with me? Those are all like my pi over 4s. Yes? It's OK. So all my reference angles are pi over 4. All the reference angles are pi over 4. Oh. There you go. Now, so I know that one of my solutions is x equals pi over 4, correct? The next solution, well, we know halfway around a circle is pi over 4, so if I'm, or 4 pi over 4, so if I'm short one, then I'm at 3 pi over 4. Halfway around a circle is 4 pi over 4. If I go an extra pi over 4, I'm at 5 pi over 4. If all the way around the circle is 8 pi over 4, but I'm one short, then I'm at 7 pi over 4. Okay, now here's where it's going to get difficult. Yes? So are we looking at like, like the angles between each? Direction? We're looking for all the angles where the sine is equal to either positive square root of 2 over 2 or negative square root of 2 over 2. And what I did is once I found this angle, do you agree with me that if I reflected this coordinate point across the y-axis, the only thing that's going to change is the x-coordinate would be negative square root of 2, right? If I reflect it over the y-axis, the point is exactly the same, except they're both negative. Do you see, how, see what I'm saying? So that gives you all the angles. Now, if my answer was between 0 and 2 pi, I would be done. That's what you do, done. However, I'm not asking, they're not asking for all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. They're asking for all of the solutions. So what we need to kind of remember here is sine. What does sine look like? Here is between 0 and 2 pi, correct? Mm -hmm. So basically, the first period is like the unit circle. But as you guys remember from graphing, sine goes on and on and on forever. It's never going to stop. So what, what that means is we need to write our solutions using a variable that can represent infinite many coterminal angles. Well, so here's how it kind of goes. And it's, it's tricky, and it's different for everyone. If here's my first answer, here's my first solution, right? Pi over 4. How far is it to my next solution? Uh, mm, be careful. How far is that? What is that distance? What is? That looks like 90 degrees, right? Isn't that pretty close to 90 degrees? Which would be what in radians? Pi over 2. And then to get to the next answer, I'd have to do what? Pi over 2. Next one. Pi over 2. Next one. Uh, 
pi over 2. Do you guys kind of see how this would keep on going? Yeah. Pi over 2. So therefore, instead of writing down all the answers, all I can simply do is start with one answer and say plus pi over 2 n. Remember how we wrote asymptotes with n? We're going to do the same thing. So if it's saying find all real solutions, a lot of times you're going you're gonna, to uh, or you're going to be using a um, multiplier n instead of just listing the answers. Okay. All right, that's two answers for you. First half is you're finding answers between 0 and 2 pi. Second half, you're finding all real solutions. Um,